What is up? What is up? What is up, FS Club? Happy Friday morning. End of the week, guys. Hopefully, you guys are all having a good day. I'm having a good day. My daughter just graduated today, so congratulations to my daughter. Uh, she graduated kindergarten. Yay! Anyways, we got new mods. We got some mods and testing, so let's get to it. First of all, if you have not followed us on Twitter, make sure you guys do it. It's at FS Club Xbox or on Facebook at FS Club Console, guys. Uh, the cool thing that Farming Simulator is actually doing on Twitter is they're actually showing uh, what mods all came out this week. So there's all the mods that came out this week. Pretty decent amount. Uh, okay, let's get into the mods that are in testing. Mods that are in testing we have. Under the PC side, we have the Auto Drive, which just came out today, which was an update. We have the DriveX GXX 2200 SC, DriveX PS 270 HD, the Fligo DPW180 Autoload, which came out today, which is awesome. Uh, we have the JD1210G, the JD1170G, the Komatsu 951, Lime from a newer spreader, Tomasin 8105, and Welker Farms map. On the PS4 and Xbox One side, we have the base transceiver station, Cow Shed, the Fligo DPW210 Bells Autoload, which I just said it was done, uh, Fligo Large Capacity Shovels, FS09 Sheep Husbandry, which came out today. Uh, Hugh Nerstall. Gents Hem 583Z with ESP cap. Metal Tech DB pack, which came out today. Uh, Multi Grabber. Osina map. RDC FS19. The Rodney 420D, which came out. The Silage Wheel Loader Fork. Uh, Pacific Northwest uh, 19. X Modding Bag Lifter. The Zeter Crystal 12045. The Zoon Hammer SKE pack. Number of mods waiting to be tested is 54, and waiting time is 5 days, so it looks like it's getting a little bit longer. It was, I believe, 4 days the other day, and then Tuesday it was 3 days, so uh, I think they're getting lots of more mods in. Uh, let's see what Chris has to say. I think some of you will react like this, up to, like this today's update. <laughs> okay, guys, so let's head over to the PS4 and let's look at these new mods. Okay, here we are on the PlayStation. Make sure you guys go to Mods, then Show All Mods. Make sure you click on that. Uh, forestry Equipment, we have the Rodney 420D by North Modding Company. Uh, let's see, the 420 features the Long Reach Pilot Finger Crane with Dual Telescope. The Balanced Bogies with Large Wide Wheels provides a smooth and gentle travel. Sounds like brochure. <laughs> the Variable Hydrostatic Transmission with Attractive Force of 27 tons means that the Rodney 420D can maneuver in terrain and maintain a high speed, high driving speed. Uh, the wide load bunk can handle 20 tons and is ideal for final fouling, but works in thinning as well. So, install that. Under trailers, we have the Metal Tech DB Pack by uh, Moody and Mr. Zeon. Uh, let's see, ooh, big pack. Okay, we have the DB6, which is 8,500, 8,000 liters to 15,400. The DB8, which is 10,000, 10,000 liters to 19,500. Uh, DB10, which is 13,500 to, oh, well, the price is 13,500. Capacity is 13,000 liters to 21,500 liters. We have the DB12, which is $15,000, and capacity is 15,200 to 24,000 liters. We have the DB14, uh, let's see, price is 19,500. Capacity is 17,000 and to 27,000. Then we have the DB14 Premium, which is 25,000. Capacity is 19,300 to 29,000. Uh, we have the DB20, which is 29,000. Capacity is 26,000 to 40,000 liters. And then we have the DB20 Premium. Price is 32,000. Capacity is 29,000 liters to 44,000 liters. Uh, the trailers can transport loose materials and silage. After removing the sides in the store, we can use it to transport pallets and bales. So let's go ahead and install that one. Okay, uh, let's go down a little bit more. We have under baling technology, we have the Flegal DPW210 Bales Autoloader by Top Ace 888 So a new autoloader. Hopefully this works really good. Uh, the Flegal DPW210 Bale Autoload. Uh, price is 26000 Defaults Giants model with the following changes. Auto load for 26 round or and 24 bales, square bales. Kelly configuration for rims and frame, trailer hits and tension belt. Uh, function, first put the trailer into working position, the frames unfold and auto load is activated. The bales can now be collected after collecting, bringing the trailer back into transpo transportation position while the frames collapse. To unload via unloading mode, unfold the frame, 
Select unloading position and unload the bells. After unloading, bring the trailer back to the transport, transport position. If the bells are unloaded onto the platform, they can be moved manually. Okay, so there we go. There's that. Uh, and then under animals, we have the FS09 Sheep Husbandry by Full Power Shift. I believe this is the sheep uh, on Farming Simulator 09, their pen. Uh, sheep Husbandry with Farming Simulator 2009 style. Perfect fits with Giants Island 09 map. Capacity is 120 sheep. So let's go ahead and install that one. I think that is it for the new mod. So let's go over to the map and check out these four mods, guys. Okay, we are on Felsbrunn. Let's go over here. We're actually going to take a look at the placeable first before we uh, check out the other uh, mods. So let's go over here. Let's go over to the placeable section. Animal pens. Uh, okay, we're looking for sheep. Nope, nope. Not it, not it, not it. There it is. The FS09 Sheep Husbandry is 50,000. Uh, 120 sheep, 5 slots, $65 a day. So 120, let's see. Uh, the large one is 250, 180. 50,000, eh? how many slots is it? 10 slots, 10 slots, so it's not too bad. So let's go and, ooh, this thing's huge. Come on, can we do it this way? Train, okay, I'll just do it this way then. <laughs> okay, I need to really make myself a modding map where I can actually just, you know, have it clear and flat. Okay, so here is where you buy your sheep. So we'll buy a few right quick. So there's the sheep. Uh, let's go over here. Here is your feeding. And if you go over here, this is of course is where your boxes will come out of. Well, not boxes, but your wall pallets. Does the gates open? Gates do open. Uh, good shadows on here. Okay, where is the... Okay, water's right over here. Okay, so that is the sheep pen. Not bad. I actually like that one. Okay, let's go over here and let's take a look at these other things. Uh, I believe we have a big old trailer pack, a forestry thing, and then the auto loader, which I showed the auto loader last. So under forestry, uh, pretty sure it's under forestry. Forest machines. Uh, where are you at? Okay, there it is right there. The Rodney 420D. It is 340,000. It is 280 horsepower, 23 slots. Okay, so you can set up the wheel brain as Nokian or the all for yeah. <laughs> Let's do that one actually. You can have Pro Grip FR, Pro Grip F Evo R, or Evo B, Evo FR, EX FR. I mean, there's a lot. Pro Grip FR. There we go. I'll do this one. Engine setup. We have the 420D Tier 4 Final. This one adds uh, optimized, which is 320. So you can get up to 320. Well, let's just do the 320. Okay, let's also uh, go over here real quick. Turn off that automatic engine start. And let me turn on this just in case there's some extra controls on here. So let's get in here. Okay, here we go. Uh, control group, you have, uh, let's see. There's that. Ooh, geez. Okay, there's a crane. I don't know why I pushed down on it. Unload fol folder. Just spreads those things apart. R, R, up, down. Looks like everything works fine. Grapple works fine. Uh, change driving direction. Ooh, so it actually does, you can actually switch driving directions. There we go. Okay, let's go into the inside and we'll start this thing up. Here's what the inside looks like. Let's start it on up. Okay, lights. Ooh, whoa, it has like four cameras. Okay, there's the lights right there. Yeah, see, okay, let's see. This is the outside lights. Okay, outside camera, inside camera, inside camera two, I'm thinking, I don't know. <laughs> and then crane camera. Another crane camera, and there we go. So if you go right here and then you click, uh, where is it at? Okay, can we switch? Okay, change driving direction. There we go. There's another camera right there, another camera, another camera. So that is that one. Pretty nice. The thing folds up and folds down. Okay, so let's take a look at this uh, trailer pack after I take off that help window. 
Okay, so we're gonna go over here. We're gonna go to trailers. I think trailers is getting longer and longer to load up. Okay, it's not that one. Not that. Not that. We got like tons of trailers. The HKD. No, it's not that. We're looking for the DB. DB pack. Uh, there's DB. I think these are it right here. Let me make sure. Uh, yes, it is. Okay, so first off, we have the DB6, which is 8,500. It is nine slots. It holds 15,400. Uh, you can actually change the capacity to either 8,000, 15,400, or bail trailer. We have pattern one, pattern two, and pattern one pushes the DB6. Okay. You have cover, yes or no. Uh, you don't have the cover if you do with, oh, that looks kind of cool, actually, I like that. Pattern two. Let's do that one. Okay, so that's DB6. And then we have the DBA, which is 10,000. It is 12 slots, 19,000 liters, which of course can go up. Uh, these are just like what the other ones. So pattern two, put cover on this one. Okay, then we have the DB10, which is 13,500. It is 12 slots too. Uh, capacity is either 13,000 or 21,000. Uh, same thing with the patterns. Okay, uh, then we have the DB12, which is 15,000, 12 slots. Uh, can have 15,200 or 24,000. Let's just do it like that one. Uh, we'll keep it, oops, keep it like this, put the cover on it. Okay, then we have the DB14, which is 19,500. Uh, we'll do this one as a bell trailer. So let's do this one. And we have the DB14 Premium, which is 25,012 slots. Either 19,300 or 29,000. We'll just do this one as that. There is a lot of trailers now. Then we have the DB20, which is 29,000. Can hold 40,000 liters, it says, 12 slots. So either 26 or 40,000. How do they do the 40,000? <laughs> Okay, then we have the DB20 Premium, which is 32,000. And can you have 29,000 or 44? Uh, let's just do like this. There's about to be a lot of trailers on here. Okay, so that is the trailers. Wow, look at all those. So really nice trailers. Wow. Okay, so those are the trailer pack. Okay, let's take a look at the last thing. I believe it's under, should be under bailing technology. Hopefully, hopefully. So let's go over here, let's go to the mod section. There's Anderson, Anderson, mod. Uh, there it is, the DP2W auto load round, which is 26,000, it is seven slots, and this thing can hold 26 bales. You can change the color on it. So let's put this one as, of course, our John Deere green. Uh, standard attacher, trailer hitch. So you can actually, hold on. Yeah, so you can actually have like three or four, you can make a big old train of this then if you wanted to. We'll set up wide tires or narrow. Let's just put standard, let's make this one green. So the auto load round is green and the square one will be a different color. So this one is seven slots, uh, same price. So let's keep it like this, standard trailer hitch. Uh, we'll put that one wide tires too. Okay, so where are those? Those are all the way down here. Okay, so what we are going to do is we're gonna get a tractor Let's get a, uh, actually let's get a large tractor real quick. Okay, so there is our tractor. Okay, let's hook up to the round one first. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here, we're gonna go to bales, let's just Wait, actually this one's around one, so we have to put some round ones on it. Let's get, let's get eight bales. Okay, and then we're gonna have to get the help window on. Okay, what we're going to do, okay, put in an operating position. Well, that is, oops, I probably should have got a little bit of clearance. So operating position, uh, what's this for? Honk, fasten belts. You got fasten belts on here. Whoa. Did that thing just automatically come down? Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. That, that. 
Ooh. Okay, don't do that. <laughs> okay, put it back in operating position. Let's see if this thing actually works. Or if we can get it to work. Come on, work, work, work. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Okay. Now to unload these. Okay, let's see. Transporting position. Okay, so yeah, I think you have to end it in operating position. Unload bales. Okay, yeah, just like the other one, see? Just like that. And then... Basically, you have to put uh, push triangle or a Y with the L1 or LB hit. And just like the other one, and then triangle again. And there they are. And then let's uh, put in transporting position. Then let's put in operating position. And there it goes. And then put in transporting position. Fasten. Okay, belts don't work, though. <laughs> Okay, so that one works without a flaw. Let's make sure that the square one works without a flaw. So let's put that one right there, and let's go check out the square one. I like this colored orange. Okay, operating position, and while that's doing that, we can go in here, and we can get some bales. Just get, let's just get eight bales. Buying them. Okay, there they are. We should be able to just go right by them and they should just pick on up. Yep, there we go. And then to unload, push the unload thing, and there we go. Wish there was a reset one like the uh, old one on FS17 had. Yep, okay, transporting position and operating position should we reload them. Okay, let me turn that engine off. Okay, guys, that is the mods for today. Let me know what you guys think in the... Let me let this save real quick. Come on. Come on. Okay, so that is the mods for today, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Remember, that is the last mods for this week, unless more gets released later on today. Who knows? But anyways, uh, make sure if you guys did like this video, make sure you guys pound that like button. And if you have not said, make sure you guys do like always. Have an awesome day, farmers. Peace. Yeah.